All right, guys, and welcome back to the channel. This is Grassroots. Um, it's not any particular episode in the list as we finish the season. As you well know, this is basically going to be an episode which is solely focusing on getting the transfer situation sorted and getting uh, the squad prepared for the new Premier League season. Uh, before we get started, I'd just like to give a quick shout out to the Dugout Football Channel. Um, thanks for subscribing, Doug. Thanks for supporting the channel. I really do appreciate that. If you're watching this and you do not subscribe to the channel and you would like a shout out, please hit that subscribe button and I will mention you in a future video. Um, I will also tag you in the comments so that you're made aware of it just in case you haven't clicked that notification bell. But having said that, let's move on and crack right on into this episode. So looking at our transfer hub, I do have a list of players here that I'm going to look into going for. Um, we have scouted all of them, so we should have a fair idea of, of how much they're worth, um, what I think I might be able to get them for and stuff like that. But I think first of all, we're going to have to... Um, I think first of all, we're going to have to do the uh, financial takeover. I don't know if we're going to have enough money in the coffers to uh, to take care of all this. We've got a transfer budget of 32 million. So at the moment then, I won't use that financial takeover. I probably will have to use it because with a wage budget of only 80,000, I don't think I'm gonna be getting too many players in for that kind of budget. Um, but for the time being, we'll crack on and see if we can tie any of these down. Uh, yeah, he's still got great sprint speed, agility, uh, balance and acceleration. What's his shooting like? Shot power, 78. Not bad. He's got 77 on the curve, 75 on penalties, 84 on dribbling. So he does look like a really solid striker and he's only 20 years old. So I'm going to stick a bid in for him immediately. He's only worth 2.9 million. So we might have to offer between 2.25 and 3.65 to have a chance at this deal. So I'm going to stick an offer straight in for 3 million and see whether we can get him. Glad you make it, made it. Let's take a seat. Clivert's shirt on the wall there. I definitely have to make sure we tie him down to a longer contract. First, let's get on the same page with what type of deal we want to discuss. I want to transfer him. And you know what? Let's see if we can swap a player. So we've got Quintana. He's worth 1.8. That would be a sweetener for the deal, wouldn't it? I never use him hardly. He is quite good, but he's older than Severin. And I don't think he's quite as good as him. Overall, yeah, he's... Mm, let's see if we can use him. We believe you might be interested in some of our players. We would consider swapping Severin for Quintana. What do you think? Listen, we can't let Severin go unless you offer a player to suit our needs and budget. We aren't interested in Quintana, but we're looking to bring in a midfielder, centre-back or striker. Uh, Quintana is a striker. Offer another player. Let's have a look. got a lot of strikers here. Let's try. Let's try Luke Armstrong. So they don't want Luke Armstrong. Um, let's just offer a transfer fee. Stop beating around the bush. Three million and a sell-on clause of 10%. There we go. He accepted that very quickly. Right, so let's get to his contract. It doesn't tell me what he's on at the minute, but it should do in this next section. Right then, thought a good place to start to discuss his role at the club. 
I'm going to say rotation at first and see if we can sweeten that one. I want him to be given enough playing time and at least be part of the bench each week. Great, that's what we were hoping for. My client is happy with the role you're offering. I, I, not, I didn't expect that. He's got really good stats, to be fair. Uh, before we move on to something else, let's agree on the length of the contract. He wants to sign a five-year deal. Suits me. Um, let's disregard a release clause. Well, he wants to put a release clause in. That's fine with me. We'll do it. Um, he's currently on 11,000 a week, so I think we should uh, give him a little bit of a pay rise. Let's give him 13,000 a week and assign an on bonus of 200,000. And let's give him a bonus uh, for goals. If he scores 20 goals, I'll give him another 250,000. How about that? Job done. That should encourage him to score goals as well. Um, right, so next up, we've got a striker anyway. So next on the agenda, I've got three midfielders to choose from. Uh, sorry, two midfielders and two defenders. Um, Ricky Puig. Looks like he's a flair player from that trait. Pomical's got better. Better numbers. Overall, Puig is better. 71 acceleration, sprint speed 74, agility 88, balance 88, reactions 80, vision 87, composure 76. He's got some good numbers there. Ball control 86, dribbling 84, long pass 82, short pass 85. He really looks good. He's a flair player. And then Pomical, let's have a look at him. Oh, look at his numbers though. 87 acceleration, 86 agility, 83 balance, 84 stamina. Really, really good numbers. Short pass, 82. Shot power, 70. Long shot, 74. Curve, 71. Dives into tackles, long shot taker and a playmaker. So I think he might be even better than Puig and may cost less. Let's have a look. So he's worth 12.5 million on a 7,600 wage. Oh, he's worth 12.5 million. I could get him for 4.25. I think, yes, this is the player we went for previously. And I offered four. I offered four million and they said no. Or did I pay the release clause? I can't remember. I think I might have paid the release clause and then we lost him on the wages. So he's currently weekly wages 7,600. I'll keep that in mind. Puig's on 33 grand a week. So yeah, I think what we're going to do is remove him from the shortlist and we're going to go straight in for Pomical. So he's currently on 7,600 a week. Let's pay the, uh, pay the 4.25. Yes. And we'll negotiate his wage. So 7,600. If I put him on... Maybe I'll put him on 13,000 a week. Like the, like the striker we've just bought. He expects to be untouchable in terms of being in the starting lineup every week. Unless he gets injured, of course. I mean, he's got great numbers. So he probably will be anyway. I'll accept that. Plus, we've lost Gomez back to Man United now. So... He's going to go straight into the squad, to be fair. We're making good progress. Now let's agree on how many years you want to sign for us. I'm going to say five, see if we can get him on full term. Good. Uh, let's propose a release clause. I don't want to lose him straight away, so... If I say... He's worth 12 million, so if I... If I double that and say 25 at least... Good. That's put in place. Let's move on to the next item and talk about his salary expectations. He expects at least 24,500 a week. He'd require a signing bonus of 250,000 and 530 after 20 appearances. I'll accept that. 
Pamikal has signed for Salford. That's two players in. Two defenders left. Let's have a look at these two. A right back and a centre back. So we've got Tom Edwards from Ajax. Or we've got... I'm not even going to begin to pronounce his first name. But Perez. Um, from Cardiff City. Interceptions 72. Aggression 76. Jumping 74. Reactions 79. Stand tackle 83. He's got good good numbers for a defender. Um, he's worth six million. He's on twenty three thousand a week. Does not have a release clause. We might have to offer between seven point seven and eleven million to have a chance at this deal. Yeah, because Cardiff have just been promoted as well, haven't they? So if I'm going to take him, I reckon I'd offer about ten million. Or oh, there's Tom Edwards from Ajax. Has really good number. Numbers, jumping, stamina, strength, sprint, speed, acceleration. Really, really good numbers. Stand tackle, 75. Crossing, dribbling are both good. I think I'll go for this guy instead, you know. He's British. He's 23. He's worth 6 million and he's only on 12 grand a week. So, yeah, it'll be better than Perez to bring this kid in. Uh, we might have to offer between 6 and 8 million to have a chance at this deal. So if I go straight in the middle and offer 7.2, 7.3. Yeah, let's do that. See if we can get him in. Looks like me in a few years. First off, let's decide what deal we want to pursue. I hate this because I always prefer the agent to tell me what the player's expecting and then I know how to play it, but we kind of have to guess here. Offer the transfer fee. And we're going to offer seven. Was it seven? Or was it six? I'll just say seven million. Seven million. Add a sell on clause of 10%. I think that's fair for Edwards. We're happy with the terms. Get all the paperwork ready and finalise the deal. Excellent stuff. Let's negotiate a deal for him. Right. He wants to be crucial in the squad. Want to be stars in the team and almost guaranteed to start, particularly in important matches. I'll agree with that. He's a great right back. We go right into the squad. He's currently on 12 grand a week. I just made a mental note of that so that when it gets to wages, we'll be ready. A uh, lot of competition for places in the squad, but I promise I'll give him the playing time you're both looking for. Good. Let's agree on the contract length. My client would like a five-year deal. Sounds good to me. Uh, let's propose a release clause. What was he worth? Six million. So if I do... I'm going to do 20. Not 12. So that's double his, double his valuation again. So yeah, we'll accept that. Right. He wants 18,500 a week. Signing on bonus of 185 and 690 after 20 clean sheets. Yeah. 20 clean sheets in the Premier League. He ain't getting that 690 grand, is he? So, yeah, I'll accept that. So, that's Edwards joins Salford City as well. Right. I'm going to I'm gonna put an offer in for him as well. Let's do it. I may have to do a bit of budget shifting around here. So that I've got enough wages. I should have done that first, actually. Let's offer him 10 million. And add a sell on clause of 10%. Good. Right, now before I offer him a contract, I think he was on like 33 grand a week or something. So now we're going to go to office, go to finances. We've got 17 million left in the transfer budget. 
but if we jump into the budget here we can adjust this so if I make sure um, make sure I've got 50 grand in wage budget that leaves me with 14 million so we'll do that and then we'll go back to transfer hub and we'll negotiate his contract so we're doing well we've signed like three players already four players his role at the club I'm gonna say crucial currently on 23 grand a week he wants a five-year deal as well perfect and not considering adding a release clause we assume that suits you okay he wants 19 grand a week that's not bad I'll accept that less than I thought it was going to be we signed everyone <laughs> so we signed Severin we've signed Pomical we've signed Edwards we've signed Perez we've got Threlkeld on the oh no these are all blocked okay so I'll allow offers on these now so that's four new players in right off the bat perfect perfect um, what I really want to do now is let's go to squad hub and offer Cliver a new contract his contracts expiring in 12 months so recently negotiated a new contract with this player no I didn't so that doesn't fill me with confidence it's gonna screw me and I'm gonna lose him great contract expiring in 12 months it won't let me do a new contract so I have a feeling he's gonna end up leaving well, that's gonna blow um, Angel Gomez is still on loan ah maybe they haven't okay maybe they're not gonna go back then until the uh, I don't know I don't understand why they haven't gone back already the transfer windows open um, right let's sort the squad out then we're gonna stick Pomical right in there instead of Matan but Matan is gonna be on the bench because he had a great season last season and I'm gonna put him in instead of Dosu Barrett's gonna stay on there because he had a great season um, Perez can go right in the center Pierre Gianni 67 Perez 74 it's a no-brainer sorry captain Pierre Gianni will be on the bench how old is Jones 27 and Pierre Gianni is 30 in that case that takes care of that one then Baba Severin ah man he replaces Dizeruvoit Edwards will go right in at right back Oscar Threlkeld will take a back seat I feel bad because all these players have been with me since I started the career so I kind of feel bad dropping them all but we've got better better players for the Premier League now we needed this um, Threlkeld I'll keep on the bench Jones will have to be dropped he's largely untested so um, Threlkeld is definitely a better better defender than this kid Cordoba he was the one I promoted from the youth team last season uh, Quintana he's bad morale um, I think we've got a pretty decent squad so far 
We'll have to move it on a few days and see if these lone players disappear again. I really don't want to lose Clivert though. And I have a feeling we're going to. Um, what I'll do now... So we've got the main squad. So we're going to go to Team Sheets. And we'll create a new Team Sheet. Which will be... If we call it cut reserves, uh, what? What's going on? Right. Right, cut reserves, and then wait. How do I change that now? Then here we go. Cut reserves. Right, so we'll drop Cliver for Severin. We'll put Barrett on the right wing. Richie Towel in there instead of Gomez. We'll stick Matt on in there instead of Pomic out. Um, we'll play Pierre Gianni in defence and McFarlane in goal. We'll put Cordoba on the bench. Deserve way on the bench. So what that does now is every time we get to a, a game, um, it'll be easier for me to show you when we actually get to a game. So you'll see what I mean. I'll, I'll explain this more when we get to the uh, when when we get to actually playing the games. Let's have a quick look at what numbers they've all been assigned now. Excuse me. Perez, number 38. That'll change. He can have that. Fabrizio Massano I've never heard of, so... Contract expiring in 12 months. Right, I'm going to go through this as well and, and uh, fix everybody's contract. But let's finish off doing these numbers first. So Pierre Gianni moves to number 6. Um, Perez is now number 5. Tom Edwards. He can have number 13. Cal. Angel Gomez is number eight. Yeah, but he's probably going to be gone shortly. So I'm going to give him number eight. Uh, Baba Severin, 15. He can keep that one. And that'll do it. Right. Let's quickly go through and do the contracts. So this is how I do the contracts. I think I've explained this before in a previous episode, but just to get back to it, um, contract expiring in 12 months. So all I usually do on this, um, you can go in and do it yourself. It's, it's easy enough to do, but it's time consuming. So usually I go to delegate renewal. Leave that as it is. That usually sets the, uh, the terms out pretty well. 
delegate the player off in negotiation to the assistant manager. So we do that. I've reached an agreement on the following terms. You can sign off on these, reject them or negotiate yourself. So I'm going to press accept. There we go. He signed a new contract. Simple as that. Uh, Dan Jones, contract expiring in 12 months. I have a feeling he won't accept because I haven't been playing him and he's been asking to play for a long time. Oh, he did accept it. Now, the way you can tell if players have not accepted the contract, um, on the right-hand side there, where it's got his name and his stats and everything, where it says status at the club since 2019, um, you'll see. See how it says for Fabrizio Massana, contract expiring in 12 months? If they don't accept the delegated renewal thing, it will still say contract expiring. It won't say at the club since. Um, so we'll see if any of these players will refuse the contract. But just for an example, it says they're now contract expiring in 12 months. Delegate renewal. Leave those as they are. Accept. At the club since 2020. So he's accepted that contract. Um, if we go through to a next one. Threlkeld, contract expiring in 12 months. Delegate renewal. Accept. Accept. At the club since 2019. So he's accepted as well. Cool, so we'll keep going through them. If anybody rejects, you'll see. Good, looks like everybody so far is accepting the contracts. Well, they're playing Premier League football now. I can't imagine any of them will reject it. Who's that then? Thomas Richards showing great potential. Centre midfielder. Hmm. He might be interesting to use in some of the cup games then. Richie Towell contract expiring. He's accepted. Jonathan Payard. He's accepted. Good. Clivert, contract expect expiring in 12 months. But see, this is the one. Delegate renewal. You've recently negotiated a new contract. I haven't. So I don't know if that's a glitch in FIFA or if it's just a way of kind of guessing that they're not going to stay. But that ain't good. So might be worth looking for a new striker as well, just in case. Um, but we do have Baba Severin, Troy Parrot's on loan, so he'll disappear. Eddie and Ketia on loan. Maybe I'll try and sign him permanently. Right, so for the time being then, I think we're pretty good on the squad. We've bought in Pomical, the cam player. Uh, we've bought in Edwards and Perez in defence. Uh, we bought in Baba Sever in a striker, so that's one, two, three, four players. We potentially could do with another midfielder, um, especially if Gomez is going to be gone and Barlow is going to be gone too. So let's have a look now at midfield options. Here we go. We're starting to get to some pretty decent players now. Christian Rivera from UD Las Palmas. 24 years old, defensive midfielder. Let's scout him. He has good stats. Charlie Lakin from Birmingham City. 23-year-old centre midfielder. He also has good stats. Let's scout him. Ricky Puig, 16 million for him though, so I'd like to buy him, 
I would like to buy him. I've had him before for different teams on FIFA and he does a good job. Um, it's a bit high that though. 33 grand a week as well. 16 million. Let's have a look how much I've got left. 2 million and no wage budget. So we can't sign him anyway. Um, unless I invoke our financial takeover. That's the only one I've got left as well, so I will do that. I will do that. Right, probably have to move on a couple of days for that financial takeover to go active. As you can see, new season is going to start with the Community Shield against Man City. There we go, loan players, uh, player loan has expired, so all our loan players are going to have gone now. I'm still moving on through the simulation, I don't know why it hasn't, oh there we go. Right then. Aidan Barlow's loan deal has expired and he has been sent back to Manchester United. If you think it was a good fit, you might want to look into setting up another loan deal or possibly a permanent transfer for him. Well, Eddie and Ketty has gone back to Arsenal. Angel Gomez has gone back to Manchester United. And Troy Parrott has gone back to Spurs. Troy Parrott I won't bother bringing back because we've got another... We've got a um, good few options in striker now. But I will definitely try and go back in for Eddie and Ketty. Potentially Aidan Barlow as well, because he was a good midfielder. So, let's see if we can go back in for them. Eddie and Ketia and Aidan Barlow. He's worth 13 million. 65 grand a week though, that's going to kill my wage budget. Shortlist him in the transfer hub. 65 grand a week at Arsenal, my god. Let's reset and now search for Barlow. He's on 42 grand at United. Oy, oy. He's only worth 3 million though, so 100%. Right then. Let's go to Transfer Hub and see how much money we've got to spend. Uh, we've got 36 million again, so it's basically put us right back to where we were at before we bought anyone. So hopefully we should be able to get a few players in. Eddie and Ketty here is a must. Especially if Clivert's going to disappear. He's worth 13. Might have to offer between 16 and 24. Well obviously he was top scorer in the championship last season. Um, I'm going to offer 17 and a half. See if I can tempt him at that. Good evening. Right then, initial offer. Seventeen point five. Good. Try and negotiate a contract for him. Hopefully, you won't want sixty five grand a week because. That's just insane. You'll be crucial, obviously. Let's go for five years.
Oh no! I wanted them to say what they wanted. This is make or break time now. I've only got 26,000 to spend on wage budget. Signed him 50 grand a week though. <sighs> See ya. He may have even accepted less than that, but I, I don't know. Um, now before I go back in for Barlow, I'm going to have to adjust the budget again. Because it says we've got no transfer wages now. So... Let's do that. <sighs> Although, wait a minute. Before I sign Barlow, what about this Christian Rivera? He's being scouted, so I don't even know what he's worth. But he's got great numbers. Maybe I should wait. Maybe I should wait 17 days. And see what numbers he pulls back, transfer wise. Because it might cost me less in weekly wages, but more in transfer money. I think I'll wait because he would be an incredible midfielder for Salford. Yeah, let's do that. We'll wait 17 days. Let's just have a look at the season and I'll count those days on. So, 7, 14, 21, 14, 15, 16, 17 days. Actually, stop. Just in case I get uh, offers for players too. Transfer budget increase. Yeah, that's not... That's only a confirmation of what we've already had. Be interesting if I could sell a few players too. Transfer offer for Torre. New York City FC have offered 1.4 million. He is worth 1 million. Been a good left wing back though. Uh, I mean, they've offered the, the maximum. I'm going to have to accept it. He might not want to go to New York anyway, but I mean, who wouldn't? <laughs> um, right. Let's move on. Torre's gone. When it gets to the 19th, I'm going to stop it. There we go. Final scout report on Christian Rivera. Let's have a look. He's worth 6 million, but he's only on 8,000 a week. Perfect. Right, I'm going in for him. Absolutely, he's got better better stats than uh, Aidan Barlow. That just goes to show you though, right? Aidan Barlow's on 40 odd grand a week and this, this guy's only on 8,000 a week. So I've got a much better chance of getting him. Um, right, transfer list, transfer hub, Christian Rivera. He's worth 6 million. We might have to offer between 7 and 9. I'll go 7.5. 
good. Every offer that I've put in so far has been accepted immediately. Yeah, look, set overall 74, overall 71. He's already better. He doesn't have traits like Aiden Barlow does, but he's he's a better player. Uh, let's negotiate the contract. How much was he on a week again? 8,600. 8, I'm going to say important. He wants to be crucial. Okay, I'll accept. He wants a three-year deal. Should I counter and say five? No, he definitely only wants three. Okay. Doesn't want a release clause. I'll accept. Let's put him on 16,000 a week with a 150,000 pound signing on fee. And after 20 clean sheets, I'll give him 250,000. Oh, he wants 21 grand a week. Remove the clean sheet bonus, but he wants 185,000 signing on fee. Driving a hard bargain here, pal, but he's a good midfielder. I'm going to accept it. Aidan Barlow. Close. Came close to going back in for him, but I think we've got a better deal. I think we've got a better deal. Squad hub. Um, let's give him the number 16 like Roy Keane. Courtney Senior will be changed to number 3. Mm, right, we'll give him 16 and then we'll change Courtney, Courtney Senior. He can't, can't be a winger on number 3. Where is he? Am I blind? There he is. Number 10. Ooh, I haven't got a number 10. Thirty-two. Right. Which striker can I put in the number ten then? Eddie and Ketty is number nine. That's without question. Um, so what about if I put Baba Severin in number ten then? And then Courtney Senior can be number fifteen. Rivera straight in. Eddie and Ketty is going to be straight in again. Good to know I've got him on a full time contract. Right. I think that's going to about do it, you know. Got a Got some good promising players as well. Danny White had still there. Uh, Dosu, Cordoba, both promising. Um, Matan, great centre midfielder. Pierre Gianni, classic defender. Baba Severin, new striker. So uh, I think we've got some good options. Yes, save the changes to the team sheet. 
and I think we're about done. So I'll skip forward just in case we get any new offers for new players. Uh, any new offers for players that I've already got, sorry. And then we'll end the episode before I play any games, obviously. Here we go, Charity Shield's coming up, so it looks like that's the end of this episode then. Loan offer for Yonzian. Yes, he can go. We'll accept that. He's going to LA Galaxy. Nice. Right, so that's going to be it then. I think we've got a good squad in place. Eddie and Ketty are back in a full-time deal. Cliver is still here, but for, I don't know how for long. 12 months left on his contract, and then I think he'll probably move on. Uh, Pomical, new player, centre midfield. Rivera, new centre midfield. Uh, Smith, senior, Lloyd, players from last year. And Perez and Edwards, brand new defenders. So I think, I mean, for the backbone of the team, we've got a really decent, decent lineup there. We should do all right. Fingers crossed. Having said that, that's going to be it then. I'll end it there. And when we come back, it will be uh, Season 4, Episode 1 in the Premier League. So thanks for watching as always. Feel free to hit that subscribe button if you didn't already for a shout out in a future episode. And I will catch you in the next one. Thanks for watching.